Hello, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving history through storytelling. Uh, today on the program, I have something pretty special. Um, it was actually given to me by my lodge. Uh, being the lodge historian, uh, I was able to uh, clean up our library, and I found some rather interesting things in our library, one of which was uh, generously given to me, and I keep it here in my home office, and it usually drapes just over my bookshelf right up there. Um, and you may have seen this in the past. Um, it is a Knight Templar apron. And it's quite unique in the fact that uh, this is all nice velvet. It's still very clean, very soft. There's no holes, no rips. It's very, uh, it feels new almost. Um, we've got these nice tin swords on here. Um, all this is metal. And on the back, um, where these attach, actually, are these rings. These rings are what hold this in place. There's one missing, and that is holding the top portion of this femur to the cloth. Um, the border is this really nice gold trim. Again, I will put some pictures on this as well so that you guys can all see it. And what's kind of special about this also um, is that I can tell that the apron string has been cut here on the ends. So this was an actual apron that was used. And on the back, what's interesting is there is a scarlet letter J, uh, which I thought was rather serendipitous, uh, my last name being Johnson and all. Um, underneath the flap, you'll find... The same rings, which are holding on the crossed swords. And the story about how old this is. Now, um, I couldn't tell you how old it is. But the unique thing is, is that Waukegan uh, Lodge Number 78 gave birth to a Royal Arch chapter. Shortly after uh, Waukegan's, um, well, at the time it was Union Lodge Number 78, in Waukegan, Illinois, and they were chartered in 1849. Being chartered in 1849, a few years later, they uh, spawned off a Royal Arch Masons and Cryptic Council. Uh, the Royal Arch Masons in uh, Waukegan, Illinois, Illinois uh, started in 1852, so just a few years later. That chapter actually had more members than the local lodge. Uh, later on, uh, Waukegan Lodge number 324 began and then due to the Civil War uh, there wasn't enough brothers present in order to open Lodge so they merged Waukegan 324 with Union 78 and came up with Waukegan 78. And right around that era there was a Knight Templar commandery that was uh, commissioned there in Waukegan and it operated for several years almost a hundred years I want to say before they went dark. So I don't think this is as old as the 1860s. It shows signs that the, the sewing back here looks like it's machine sewed. Um, but I wanna say it, it's probably from the mid 20th century. Um, so 1950s, 1960s maybe. Um, but it is rather unique. I love it, and uh, in the basement of Waukegan Lodge, number 78, we still have all of the original banners and, uh, and whatnot from the different tribes and things that uh, you set up for the uh, Knight Templar degrees or the consistory, the priory, whatever you call yours and your jurisdiction. Uh, but it is rather cool. I hope you enjoyed this. It's, it's rather neat, and uh, I'll talk to you guys all real soon. Thanks again for watching, and... Please make sure you like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks again.